I have one that I, I particularly like. Actually, it's convinced me to think that actual uh, infidents uh, don't exist. But there's a old philosophical paradox called uh, Zeno's paradox. Say I take this bottle cap and I throw it against that wall, right? In order for it to arrive there, it had to go half the distance, right? It had to go half of the half of the distance to get there, right? And then it had to go half and the half. The point is, any between any two spaces, you can divide it up infinitely. And so there's an infinite, according to Zeno, there's an infinite amount of points between these, these two. You can keep on dividing up into smaller intervals to infinity. Zeno said, well, if, if there's an infinite amount of points here, how can an object go over an infinite amount of points in a finite amount of time? Like, how is that possible? That's crazy. So what Zeno did historically was to deny the existence of motion. He didn't think motion existed. Like, that guy's got problems, right? Well, you don't think motion exists, so he thought motion was an illusion. Uh, 